4th, everybody. Happy Independence Day. Ah, oh, man. Been a long day. It's about 10.30 at night right now. I gotta get up early to go to work tomorrow. And I need to shave, but something about, you know, shaving in the shower at uh, 5 a.m., you know, you don't really get a good shave out of it. And I did want to try to get a shave done today. So uh, I'm going to be doing an Independence Day shave in the evening uh, with uh, some products made in the USA. Most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. But uh, I get a chance to bring out a razor I haven't used in a little while. So I'm going to be using my Gillette Black Tip, and I have a Persona blade in there. I like these packs. It's kind of mild, and this is a mild razor. It's been a long day, so I definitely... Oh, let me lock that in. I definitely am in the mood for a mild, relaxing shave. Uh, started off <laughs> real good today. Uh, got to do a 5K. Woke up at uh, 5, 5.45. Had to be there at 7 a.m. It's a 5K down in Huntington Beach. You get to run down, uh, uh, down Main Street, uh, turn onto PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, turn around and run back. And the only part that kind of sucks a little bit, it's downhill uh, as you take off. So as you're finishing, it's all uphill. In fact, uh, this is what it looked like this morning at about five minutes to seven. Now you'd think if you're preparing for a race, you don't do anything stupid uh, like I did yesterday, like trying to work on my stupid uh, garden shed that I'm building, dragging lumber and uh, sawing and nailing and, you know, oh man, blew out my lower back. But uh, luckily, uh, got on some, uh, some pain pills, so the run went good. All right, back to the shave. Like I said, it's late. I'm going to be using uh, some Dorco shave cream today. Made in San Diego. It's really nice stuff. Haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to be using that. In fact, it comes out this color. I'm going to be using uh, my Diego Thermal Scuttle. Made in San Diego also. So I'll be using that today. I've got my Ever Ready Badger brush. See that? Uh, soaking inside the crystal skull. So we'll use that today. I've got uh, some Humphreys Witch Hazel. And I'm going to top it off with some uh, fine American blend, the red, white, and blue bottle. So let's get this started and get to bed. All right. Oh, man. A good day, though. A good day. It's too bad that it happened to be in the middle of the week. It's nice when you have a day off afterwards. Time to rest. All right. I like you can hang on to that scuttle by the uh, base really good and I'm gonna put a little bit see how it's blue you can face lather this stuff I don't know if you guys have ever tried it but you could definitely face lather that all right and right away she starts lathering up very easy to face lather I've done that many times before, but this badger brush is really thirsty, so it's absorbing it very well. Spilling out a little bit. Show you look at that. I use that stuff in the shower sometimes. You can just put it right on the brush, right onto your face. I got about two great two days growth on this. So I wanted to thicken it up a little. I can hear, you probably can't hear it in the background, but uh, sounds like mortars going off. Sounds like a a scene from a war movie back there. Boom, 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 boom. 
my firework display was really meek. You know, we got a couple of, uh, first of all, only the stuff that stays on the ground is legal in my city. And uh, you wouldn't know it because there are mortars going off, boom, like Disneyland style fireworks going off over my head and it's driving my dog nuts. He's like thinking we're going hunting or something. He's like, ah, gunfire, gunfire, but it's those crazy rockets. All I got were these. Take a look. these things going off for 25 years uh, they had made fireworks the safe and sane we'll call them illegal in uh, my city in Huntington Beach and only the illegal ones were going off and then the city council a lot of the older council members were replaced and a younger bunch came in and they made fireworks legal again because I mean, the schools have fireworks stands. They make profit and, you know, help out the schools. And, and why do I have to go to Anaheim or Santa Ana or to another city to watch a firework display when I live here? So for the last probably four years, they've been legal again. So it's just nice to sit on your driveway. Everybody's having a beer. Kids are lighting off the fireworks. And those illegal ones are still going on. But I don't care. It sets off my car alarm. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh. The soap's very smooth, as you can see. And this razor is very mild. The blade's very mild. It's a good go to blade. That one and my uh, Wilkinson Sword Gillettes are good go to blades. Well, you don't want to get cut. That was some heavy growth. A couple of days worth. calm down though. I was trying to play pinball. He's jumping on me going, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not afraid, just excited, tail wagging like crazy. My brother has to give his dog Benadryl because they get so scared around the fourth. Probably should have gave mine Benadryl. It would have calmed him down a little. Did you hear him barking in the background? Holy cow. When I was in my early teens in the 70s, you could go down to Tijuana and you could buy bricks of firecrackers and M80s. Or you can go to Nevada or Arizona and get them. There'd always be some kid at school selling a pack for a quarter or a buck or something. Sure, it still goes on, but it's not as easy to get anything out of Mexico these days. You go through, like, mega security now. You used to just walk over. <laughs> Nothing to declare. I remember I was about 19 and I bought a six foot string of firecrackers. I wrapped it around my waist like a belt and <laughs> walked over. Man, just about June the 30th, just before July the 4th. And that was fun, but man, you'd be in huge trouble now. Huge trouble. 
I know a lot of states out there, uh, firecrackers are still legal. I drive through those states, but it, it always says uh, fireworks on sale like from June 18th uh, to July 4th and from uh, December 20th to uh, uh, January 1st. I guess they only want you lighting that stuff off at New Year's. Or the 4th of July. I found out that no matter how fast or how slow I go, these videos are right between like 15 minutes and 20 minutes. And uh, unless I do five passes, I'm not going to be able to get those lengths up there. But hopefully, it's just the right size to keep your interest, not bore you, but not look like I'm trying to get done too fast. Because I'm not. But I am getting out of housework out there. It's a big mess. <laughs> Had a barbecue, bratwurst, burgers, hot dogs, chicken. cleaning up right now. Parties are fun, except the aftermath. So who had a cool party out there, man? Have a lot of relatives over, a lot of friends over? You guys uh, do the firework displays out in your street, like the neighborhood comes together? The neighborhood behind me, that's where all the mortars, you can hear boom, and Disneyland style. And that crap's got to be expensive. I have no idea. Maybe you guys in the states where they're legal can tell me. They got to be about 25 bucks to 50 bucks, right? For those big, big Disneyland style stuff. I mean, that crap looks expensive. If something that stays on the ground and makes a fountain is 10 bucks, man, those things got to be expensive. I use such a mild razor. I'm not gonna use any uh, alum block today because I didn't get any cuts. And that was a super mild razor. Those black tips are really, really mild. But I am using the witch hazel. And somebody asked what it smells like and it's got kind of a neutral smell. Definitely not perfumey or menthol. But it does tighten up your pores. Just in time for bed. All right, some fine classic aftershave. I saw a lot of cool videos. You guys, uh, you beat me to it, man. Some good 4th of July videos. In fact, I think the first one I saw came out of Australia. Uh, Chris did a good one, and I know there's a lot of, lot of videos out there, July the 4th videos. So uh, if you get a chance, check them out. A lot of wet shavers doing some cool shaves a little earlier than me. I got about an hour and a half until it's July the 5th, so. <laughs> oh. oh, and I still get the burn. Oh, nice. 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 Whew. All right. Long day. <laughs> Have a great Wednesday tomorrow. A great 5th of July. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys had fun today. And uh, until next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great evening, and we'll see you next time.